Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. Poor Neve has been stuck at home with the wife and kids for way too long, so she's decided to do something that she should have done long, long ago, and that's the Night to Remember quest to get what is, in my opinion, the best Daedric weapon or artifact in the game, the Sanguine Rose. Now, this quest can start from level 14 upwards, where you can encounter a man called Sam Gwavine in any random tavern in Skyrim. You actually meet him in the uh, very first city you enter upon reaching level 14. Um, and for some reason, uh, most people seem to meet him in Whiterun. Anyway, enough of that, let's crack on. Okay, like uh, most people, I met uh, Sam in Whiterun. Uh, and for quality of life, I've installed a mod that actually allows me to fast travel to my properties in each hold, which saves a lot of running around. Anyway, let's head into the, head into the pub. You know that. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone. He's all right. There he is. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. A few drinks, a few laughs, and a contest. What could be better? A drinking contest? You don't ah, stand a chance. We'll see about that. Oh, this is a special yes, brew. Very strong Just stuff. Let's get started. The blankets still need to be washed. I'll start oh, round yes, one. Down the hatch. <laughs> Your turn. Here we go. One down, my friend. One down. <laughs> you gotta love Skyrim. Sing you a special song tonight, beautiful lass. Not now. I'm working. Ah, you're always. And how working. about you? Why else would I spend so much time? A second drink? Easy so enough. Says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what. One more, and you win the contest. One more, no wow. problem. <laughs> You've really done it. The staff is yours. That's you know, great. You're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. And that's it. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. So we've woken up in Markarth. Yes. Oh my yes. head. And you don't remember where you are. I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a goat. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. Okay, you can you can go through all these options, but you want to do the whole quest, so was a man named Sam Stella with me? Teaches love and compassion. But that doesn't mean we're just going to tell you what you want to know and let you walk away from this. Pick up your mess, then apologize. And if we think you're sincere, we'll consider lending you aid. Okay, so you can see little quest markers. Just, uh, just run around, pick them up. Holy water, nom nom. I'll get that one later. And we got more holy water. Giant's toe. And I think that's it, just a note next. Yeah, okay, just a note. And we need the following to repair the broken staff, giant's toe, holy water, and a hard graven feather, Sam. That gives you a bit of a clue what we can do next. Or soon, anyway. I suppose that'll do. Debella teaches us forgiveness, after all. Even for a drunk like you. So do you remember anything I said when I got here? got here? But most of it was slurred. You did say something about Rorikstead. Maybe you should take a look there. Okay, so let's head off to Rorikstead. Uh, help if I got the right door, I think. Yeah, wrong way. I'm sorry. The Temple of Debella is closed. You can receive your blessing if you wish. But Hold on a minute. I thought Sarana didn't like yes. temples. What's she doing in here? I'm ready when you are. 
Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's uh, head over to Rorikstead. Where are you, Rorikstead? I've forgotten where you are. Where's Rorikstead? Oh, there it is. Jeez, right in front of me. What a burk. Okay, let's head over there. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. So it seems we've done a, uh, a lot of bad things on our night out with Sam, and we've got to put them right one by one. And uh, I think we start with uh, you, young Ennis here. You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry's not good enough. Not while my Gled is still out there alone and afraid. You kidnapped her and sold her to that giant. That You're sounds pretty right bad. It does. I'll never breed another prize-winning goat like Gleda. And don't you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant. Okay, fair enough. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> okay, so let's go and have a chat with the giants and... Uh... Well, you know, they're not the easiest people to talk to, so uh, let's um, summon Arvac. And since I've got Arvac, uh, Shadowmere doesn't seem to be spawning with me very often. I'm not sure if the two are related or not. Probably not. I prefer Shadowmere, but Arvac is, is dead handy. Okay, right. Okay, I don't want to kill the giant. He hasn't done anything to me, so... We'll paralyse him and take the goat. Dog. Is that a sabre cat in mid air? It is, isn't it? Was that a mammoth? You gotta love this game. Oh. Pish and Pent is a bloody dragon. Okay, I'll cut if there's a dragon fight, I'll cut it out. Well, maybe he'll leave us alone. Okay. As a friendly little dragon. Good night. Come on, get, come on, Gleda. Gleda, Gleda, go on. Ah, oh, come on, guys. I didn't want to kill him. They're bloodthirsty lot, they really are. Anyway, nothing I can do about it. Let's go back to Ennis. Zenis. If you've got friends who do business in Whiterun, they might know me. You talked to Reldith yet? Here's your Later. goat. Now you can help me retrace my steps. Happy day. <laughs> I still can't figure out why you stole her. You left a note explaining it, but half of it was gibberish and the rest had mead spilled on it. Only bit I could make out was repaying Isolde in Whiterun, and even that's mostly scribbles. Guess you could try there. Until next time. <laughs> Tell very much. Okay, let's head back to White Run. That's a dead handy mod, though. Just plonking yourself right in the city. There's your Zolder. So you're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. Uh, okay, um, I've been getting that a lot. Oh, what's wrong? Did the engagement fall through? Look, how about we call it even, as long as you bring back the wedding ring? That's really a shame. I was so looking forward to the wedding. You said you'd have all the most interesting guests. Do you know what I did I with it? give it to your fiancé. Don't you even remember where you left him? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, 
I can see why he left you. Okay. Okay. What was the story about my fiance? It was the sweetest story I'd ever heard. You met at the full moon, under the biggest tree in Witchmist Grove, surrounded by fireflies. It was straight out of a storybook. Okay, yeah, you can can, can go through the whole uh, the whole dialogue there, but we want to do the story, so uh, now we'll find the wedding ring in Witchmist Grove. You can skip through this a little bit quicker, but yeah, what's the point? And luckily, uh, we've been fairly close to that. Ah, oh, seriously, another dragon? Ah. Oh. Okay. Right. If you want it. Where's my Stormac tracks? There you go. Right. Double charge the little bastards. There you go. I mean, seriously, dude, you just don't stand a chance. <laughs> we got this dragon killing thing down pat now. Oh, what you got? Missed arrow, bow and arrows, nom nom. I do, but actually, no, I do want the dragon souls now, actually. Oh, Daedric helmet. Not that I'll ever use uh, Daedric armor. Okay, let's go this way. Actually, I don't spend much time down this part of Skyrim, actually. Lots of brilliant ingredients to pick up around here, by the way. Loads of it. I'm just running over it now, it's like Jazz Boy grapes and stuff like that. Creep cluster. Loads and loads of stuff. Okay, where are you? Oh, Jazz Boy. Nom nom. Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to return to consummate our love. Um, actually, I was hoping to get the ring back. What? You wanted for that hussy Esmeralda with the dark feathers, don't you? I won't let her have you. Tough day for you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually quite tough, old Bora. <laughs> to be fair, I've done worse on a Friday night. Okay, so we've got the Hargrave and Feathers, got the Wedding Ring, and a little bit of loot round here. Yeah, don't need that. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, I spy with my little eye, a little, uh, Skill book under the bed. Yeah, I'll take that. Come on. Okay, a destruction skill book. Nom nom. I've obviously read that before. Right, guys. Let's go and see Yzolda again.
Doesn't go far, does she? Hello again. Here's the ring. Excellent. Sorry it didn't work out. I know how excited you were for the wedding. You kept saying it would be a huge ceremony at Morven Scar. You said you even had some magic staff that would handle all of the guests. Okay, now we've got to go to Morven Scar. Now this is actually a great location. It's a really good fight. I'll never forget you. Always been tempted to marry his older. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek to get here, so uh, I, I won't actually show the journey here. Um, but it's, it's not a particularly difficult one. And if we uh, have a look at the uh, map, I've actually gone past the location. Uh, I follow the road, and that brings you onto a road that takes you up. It's, it's the easy way rather than climbing up um, hills and stuff like that. Okay, and um, yes, that's the best way to, to get up here. Now, guys, this is a tough location. Now, I've got some pretty hardcore, um, uh, well, I'm leveled pretty hardcore, and I've got a lot of um, pretty tasty followers. And uh, it may look easy, but this is quite a difficult fight, honestly. Um, so, come loaded for uh, Bear. Obviously, you're a decent level, it's not going to be so difficult. But uh, if you're coming at a lowly level, then sure, th this is quite tricky. Uh, bring some fire resistant potion as well. Okay. Send the boys in. Bill and Ben. You get cooked up really, really bad. Now I've got a really good fire resistance uh, uh, boots on, so it doesn't really bother me too much. But uh, yeah, these mages are tough. Honestly, they're, they're, they're tough. Okay, what you got? Nothing. What's this one got? Okay. Go out of the way, guys. In we go. Anything up here? Oh, no, sorry, I don't care. Uh, let's crack straight on. Okay. <laughs> okay, they found something, obviously. Seriously, fire's not going to work on me, guys. <laughs> Good night. And that's it. Now, I made that look easy because I've, I've got some hardcore followers, like I say, and uh, uh, but it, it can be tough, especially if you come here on your own. So, uh, take it accordingly. And there's a few bits and bobs you can loot around here as well. Okay, I'm not going to bother. I might as well do this chest while I'm here. Gold to reason one. Lovely, nom nom. Yeah, why not take that? And then we want to go in here. What do you think of Neve's uh, new looks, by the way? I think she looks quite tidy, actually.
and just head straight down here. And speak to Sam. Just beginning to think you might not make it. It was quite a trip. Where are we? I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. I have all the things needed to repair oh, it. Raven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see, I really just need something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. Need something? Why did you choose me? Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions through. But you, you're going places. Maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help adjust your course a bit. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? So all this was just a prank? Just a prank? Just a prank? The Daedric Lord of Debauchery does not deal in mere pranks. This may have begun as a minor amusement, but it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff. Thanks, I guess. My pleasure, but I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. Welcome. And there you go, guys. That's completed a night to remember, and we've got the uh, Sanguine Rose. So uh, let's have a little look at it. Okay, so the Rose summons either a Dramora uh, Kine, Kine Reeve, a Dramora Caitiff, a Dramora Kineville, a Dramora Marquinez or a Dramora Valkinaz. Now, this all depends on your level um, to fight for you for 60 seconds. Uh, killing a Dramora that is summoned will not relinquish a Daedra Heart, nor can it be soul trapped. Though, if you use a Wabberjack on it, and say, for example, it turns into a rabbit and you kill it, that can relinquish a Daedra Heart. Um, now, your followers, and this is one of the reasons why I got this, because obviously I can summon two Dramoras myself, um, your followers can use a Sanguine Rose. And the Dramora, Dramora always fights for you, uh, though there is a chance it will only summon uh, a level Daedra based on your follower's level. All in all, this is a fantastic weapon, and it's another step towards Neve's Death Squad build, where I can summon two Dramora at or Atronax, and my followers can also summon a Dramora or an Atronax into the fight. And this is all geared towards making the Civil War that little bit more one-sided. But who shall we side with? Hmm. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.